Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I was just going through my email here and I saw this question that I, th I thought was pretty good. So I thought I'd just go ahead and break out of the email and answer this because it's sort of time sensitive. So maybe I'll actually send a Dropbox, li a Dropbox link to Kevin who asked this question. But anyway, Kevin wants to know, do you stay or do you go? Should I stay or should I go now? And, and this is sort of an ethical moral dilemma, which I'm glad to weigh in on. He says here, really digging your take action advice. And I actually did some blogging. So I think he's talking about this video I did about taking action. I think I told you to unsubscribe from my channel here and a lot of you did. That's good. That's, you know, fine. That's, that's good because don't just watch the videos and not take action. Maybe you need to, you know, that, that's fine. A lot, of, a lot of people actually did the opposite and actually subscribed from that video. So there you go. Anyway, he says, as usual, I'm staying late to fix a stupid bug that's completely my fault. This doesn't happen too frequently. But since I'm pretty new to the team, two months, I tried to, I tend to make stupid mistakes. One thing I always make sure is that my code compiles and runs all the tests successfully. Well, for these one, it was kind of hidden. So for this one, it was kind of hidden. He says, anyways, today was supposed to be my gym day to run my usual three miles, but I don't think that's going to happen now. In this case, is it wrong for me to stay late to fix it? I can easily just go to the gym and fix it the next day, but I just hate seeing a red circle in continuous integration. Maybe I should say, fuck it, there's always tomorrow. What do you think? My answer is that it, uh, I committed to, if I committed the code, then I should stay until master branch is healthy. Since I committed faulty code, it is my punishment to stay and fix it. Technically, I can still go to the gym, but I need to be home by a certain time to take care of the kids, 8 p.m. I can still go to the gym at 11 p.m. if I need to. So this is a tough one, right? Because you're you're caught between this 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 ethical dilemma. Should you should you stay and fix this code, right? Do you have a duty and obligation because you you broke the the, the code, or do you, do you keep your obligation to the gym? And to be honest with you, I don't think there's a totally right answer. I think it depends on, on, on a few things, but I'm gonna give you what I would do in this situation, my advice, since you asked me for, for my advice here. So in this particular situation, right, you have an existing moral imperative, right, a principle that says that if you break something, you should fix it and you should stay late to fix that if you if you need to, something that shouldn't have been broken right i mean there's there's a difference like you can't just i would not advise against every time that something goes wrong or something doesn't get completed on time that you carry the burden and you stay late a lot of people do that i've done that in the past where i put too much responsibility and loyalty and obligation on myself and had my contract to be too severe but for you I think you've got a pretty clear standing principle that is one of your principles that you subscribe to. And again, different people could have different levels and different principles, but it seems that your principle is such that the, you, the code should compile. If you check it in, it should not break the continuous integration, right? At least at the, comp at the compilation level, what, what it sounds like here. So you don't want to violate that principle. You've also got this other commitment principle of, of hitting the gym. And on my, my workout times, I'll tell you, are very sacred. It's, very, it's not very often that I'm going to miss a workout or miss the time that I'm supposed to work out, right? So I totally recommend that. I totally agree with that. That's, that's a way to go is to make sure that you you schedule that workout time ahead of time and that that's you're very committed to that time you don't let that go you don't just say oh something came up right but in this case because this principle you, you made a mistake you goofed it was something that could have been prevented that is totally your fault that you bear responsibility for so i i think honestly in this case what you should do is what you said is stay fix the thing because this was your fault and it should have, you, you should have not done this, right? This wasn't a, a simple mistake. This was 
a mistake that was that was made. That was a real, that is your fault. It's not a no one's fault. It's not a oopsie. It's a, I was a little bit careless here. And so you should pay the price for that. But don't let your workout, again, but if you're gonna pay the price, fully pay the price, you don't get to get off of the hook of doing your workout. Do the workout at 11 p.m., right? And at the very least, it's gonna build some extra character because you're gonna to have to go and hit the gym at 11. You're gonna have a hard day. It's gonna be rough, but that's 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 the that's sticking to your principle, right? And I think it's really important. Again, the the reason why I say that there there's no right answer to this, and this could depend, and it depends so much on your own principles, is that there's sort of a bigger issue here, which is that I've always I've always said that like I could totally disagree with someone, I could disagree with what they think or what they say. But if they're consistent to their own principles, I respect them, right? Whereas someone could be saying stuff that I totally agree with, but they're not consistent to their own principles, their own principles. I might detest their principles, right? That's, that's a totally different thing. But if they're not consistent to their own principles, even if they're saying what I like, I don't have respect for them. I might agree with them, but I don't respect them. And so I think it's really important to be consistent with yourself, with whatever principles you set out. If you say, you know, I, I think I did a video a while back, I don't even know which one it was, but it was, it was something silly like putting Splenda, should you put Splenda in your coffee, will it mess up your fasting and stuff like that. And the, the, thing, the thing that I said is, I, I don't think it really matters from a fitness perspective, but if you say that you're not going to do this and you do it and you're violating your, your own rules, your own guidelines, your own principles, that's, gonna, that's a much greater consequence than any of that other stuff. So if you have it, right, you could change your rule. You could say, well, you know what? Breaking the build is not that big of a deal. It's it, it fine. I mean, I, a lot of people are, ah, I, I don't know. Uh, you don't have to agree with that principle. But if that's your principle, if you're okay with that, you're like, it's all workout is always important. Like we're leaving at five o'clock is, is my principle regardless, right? That's, that's not as important. Then, then that's, that's different. But as long as your principle is what it is, then I feel like you need to be consistent with that in order to, to, to feel good about yourself in order to, you know, to, to be successful as far as you're, because you're defining your own success criteria here. Now, if some people have ridiculous criteria and they need to loosen up the criteria, but in this case, it doesn't seem unreasonable. It seems perfectly fine. It's a perfectly fine to penalize yourself in this way. Don't make it like a, a punitive type of thing. Just make it like this is, this is, what this is the price that you pay. This is, you know, not not a punitive price, but this is what I'm still going to do this, but this is what it costs me. It costs me this in order to to do that. It's I'm going to have to go to the gym at 11 o'clock. That's what, what I'll have to do. So that's my recommendation in this case, you know, stay to your principles and and then, you know, do what you got to do and you'll get through it. And then tomorrow's a new day and, and you'll remember that I had to go to the gym at 11 o'clock and that'll make you think about sticking to your plan a little bit better and making sure that you check your code before you, you check it in. All right, that's all I got for this one. If you like this video, click that subscribe button below. I will talk to you next time. Take care.